Hi, my name is Christine Simcox. I'm an architect with the design team working on the site plan and dwelling unit designs for the property at 9800 West 38th Avenue in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. I'd like to introduce you to Artelon and Kim Hardy. They are the owners of this property. Artelon and Kim have been Wheat Ridge residents and have operated local businesses for many years. Their children attended Prospect Valley Elementary School, Everett Middle School, and are graduates of Wheat Ridge High School. Artelon and Kim currently live at 10240 West 34th Place. They are excited for the opportunity to develop a beautiful community at their property at West 38th Avenue and Johnson Street. Ardalan and Kim hope to relocate to one of the single-family homes on this property. This property is located on West 38th Avenue and Johnson Street, east of Kipling. The property is 1.2729 acres in size and slopes down to the south and west corner of the property. This planned community will enhance an unused site and provide a variety of dwelling unit types. We have presented property and building information for this project at a neighborhood meeting in November of 2019 and at the City of Wheat Ridge's Planning Commission hearing on February 6, 2020. After each of these meetings, we as a design team have re-looked at the project so that we can best respond to the comments and concerns from both the city officials and members of the community. While presenting information about this project, we would like to give as much information as possible about access and egress to the community, parking for the community, and grading and water detention for the property. There are several different types of developments that surround this property. This photo is taken on the east side of the property facing north and west towards the gas station at the corner of Kipling and West 38th Avenue. This photo is taken on the east side of the property facing north across West 38th Avenue. There are existing single family and duplex homes that are accessed directly from West 38th Avenue. These homes sit across the street from the proposed duplex units on this property. This is a photo of the duplex units directly to the east of the property. We were asked during the hearing with the Planning Commission about the relationship between the proposed duplexes and single-family homes on this property and the existing duplex units to the east. We wanted to include this photo to show that the existing duplex homes are set higher up the hill than the new duplexes. There is an existing retaining wall between the two properties. This photo shows the existing single-family residential development to the south of the property with existing accessory sheds and vehicle storage. This photo shows the undeveloped land to the west of the property in the Apple Ridge Cafe. You can also see other businesses on the west side of Kipling Beyond, which includes Sprouts, Starbucks, and another gas station. And here we are back at the gas station to the north and west of the property. We also wanted to show you some projects that are currently being constructed in Wheat Ridge within two miles of this property. There have been some concerns about the heights of the dwelling units on this property and we wanted to show other developments being built in this area that are next to existing neighborhoods. This slide shows photos of three and four story condominium units. This is a photo next to the former Luckies on West 38th Avenue in Wadsworth. It is four stories in height. And this slide shows townhome units in a development named West Ridge Row Homes located at 44th and Yarrow. The new buildings are three stories in height. We are proposing a development that will have four single-family houses on the south side of the property and three duplex buildings on the north side of the property along West 38th Avenue. The density for the project is 37% less than what is allowable by the City of Wheat Ridge. These 10 new dwelling units will be accessed from a new alley which will be entered from West 38th Avenue and from Johnson Street. Although the ODP has defined the road as an alley, we would prefer to call this road a private road. This road will have signage to set guidelines for private parking on the property and will set an appropriate speed limit for cars traveling on the private road.
This preliminary grading plan has been produced by Nathan Loddick, the civil engineer for this project. The elevation drawings I will present have been adapted to show this grading in relationship to the homes. Nathan has designed the private drive so that the slope of the drive at the entrance to West 38th Avenue will not exceed 10%. We believe that this portion of the road will have excellent southern exposure with its slope and distance from the buildings. This grading plan shows the limits of the underground detention area, which is located under the additional four parking spaces. Each dwelling unit will have a two-car garage. All lots except lots 5 and 10 will have a minimum of two additional parking spaces in their driveways. The community will have four on-site parking spaces in the southwest corner of the property. Johnson Street to the west of the property will be widened to accommodate two additional parking spaces. This will provide a total of 40 parking spaces for the community. The amount of parking provided for this community exceeds the minimum requirement by the City of Wheat Ridge. The single-family house on Lot 1 has been changed since our last hearing in February. The rear deck has been removed and the house size has been changed so that this lot can also accommodate a driveway to provide two additional parking spaces for the community. This site plan is conceptual but shows the proposed dwelling units on the property. The four units at the south side of the property are single-family homes with two-car garages, covered front porches, and most have decks off the back. Six duplex units will be located on the north side of the property along West 38th Avenue and will each have two-car garages, covered front decks, and decks that face the private road. I will be showing some conceptual drawings of each dwelling unit later in this presentation. The landscape design shown on this plan is also conceptual and shows that we intend for this development to be well detailed with well thought out landscaping between the duplex units and West 38th Avenue and between the single family homes and the existing development to the south of the property. These are conceptual designs of the front and rear elevations of a typical single family home. These homes will be approximately 2,200 to 2,400 square feet in size and will have three bedrooms and three baths. The single family homes will have a maximum height of 28 feet as defined by the City of Wheat Ridge. These maximum heights to the midpoint of the roof are shown on the drawings. The single family homes will have a variety of architectural styles, building materials, and roof lines. We want the buildings in this community to feel cohesive but not look exactly the same. Adjacent structures will not have the same detailed elevations. All front elevations and sides facing the public right-of-ways or open space will be finished with a minimum of 30% of masonry materials. I'm showing these elevations with brick and siding and another elevation with synthetic stone and a stucco finish. These roofs will vary with hipped and gabled roofs. This is a conceptual design of the duplex units as they face West 38th Avenue on the north and the private road on the south. These dwelling units will be oriented towards West 38th Avenue and will have a strong front entry design with covered decks. These decks will have the same architectural treatment as the facades of the single family homes. The units on each end will be two story dwelling units above a drive under garage. The end units will have a maximum height of 30 feet. These units will be about 1,700 square feet of finished space and have three bedrooms and three baths. The four other duplex units will be L-shaped and be one story above a garage accessed by the private road. They will have a maximum height of 25 feet. These units will be about 500 square feet of finished space on the lower level and 1,500 square feet of finished space on the main level for a total of about 2,000 square feet. They will also be three bedrooms and three bath homes. As with the single family homes, the duplex units will have a variety of architectural styles, building materials, and roof lines. All front elevations and sides facing the public right of ways or open space will be finished with a minimum of 30% of masonry materials. I'm showing the units with brick and siding finishes as well as synthetic stone and stucco, and adjacent buildings will not be finished with the same materials. The roofs will vary between hipped and gabled roofs. We plan to create an attractive and well-detailed transitional community. This community will allow buffering between residential and commercial properties. We are very willing to work with city officials and community members to make this community one we can all be proud of. 
On behalf of Ardalan and Kim Hardy, I thank you for your time and consideration of this outline development plan.